Welcome to the BTM Club show. As usual, you know, it is about the legends in our community and those doing great things in music, theater, writers. I try to celebrate them all. And today we have one of my old timers, I think I can say, <laughs> Vivi yes. Ray. Hi there. Hi there. Welcome Hi. to the show. How are you? I'm well. I'm really well, thank you. Looking radiant as ever. I try, I try. <laughs> <laughs> I think at this age we're all trying, honey. We're that's, all trying. That's right. That's yeah, we're right. All, we're all trying and just doing the best we can. How have you been? I've been really well, actually. Um, despite the weather, I mean, despite the lack of summer, it's it's been a it's been a good year. Oh come on, we've had some good days. We've had oh, some... it's not enough. It's not enough. Nowhere near this is enough. England. What do you expect? Oh, I don't know. Why don't are know. people surprised that bad weather in England <laughs> have lived here for so many years? It's like... I don't know. Every year it just takes me by surprise how appalling the weather is. <laughs> I don't get it. Um, yes. Well, I have to say. I've known you a lot of years. Yes, our paths have crossed. Yes. yes, a long time ago. And you were in music when I first met you. That's right. And then for some reason, our paths went different ways. That's right. I didn't see anything about you or what you were doing, your musical projects. And then all of a sudden, it was just like this burst of Vivian Ray again everywhere. And I was like, oh, wow. doing backing vocals for Shalimar and she's doing backing vocals for this one. And I didn't know where the journey went. So tell me about the start of music for you, because oh. that's where we have to go back. Well, I suppose when I when I first met you, I was in a girl group. You know, as with most singers, we all start in, in girl groups. I was in a three girl group and that's where we met. You were friends right. with one of the one of the girls. Um and that's where the music started. And from there, um I got lots of work. I signed some deals with people, um, different artists. Oh, you did sign deals. Yes, I did. Okay, I did. So I did I did a, I did a couple artist. of albums. Sorry. You were a signed artist from back. Yes, yes. Yeah. Back then, I started out, um, my first album I did was um, a drum and bass album. With Sour, I was signed to Sour Records. Right. We did an album, a whole album of um, drum and bass. I didn't do any of the writing on that. So was just... when was your first deal? I don't even know. It was late 90s, late 90s. Right. Um, and that would have been with um sour records right that was your first deal yes okay so what were you doing leading up to that because Just, I knew yeah. you before that as a singer were you doing sessioning were you doing what? lots of sessions lots of sessions right. okay so you remained in the industry absolutely yeah i was signed to an agency back then called session connection and um oh my goodness session yes, connection. you remember Tina <laughs> and Debra. And Debbie, that's yeah. right. That's right. So, you know, they put me to work and I, you know, got a lot of my experience and learned my chops, you know, doing lots of work with, with you know, through their agency. So, yeah, I've been busy, been busy all the way through. Wow. I didn't know that. I didn't know you were with them. Yes. Wow. Are they still in existence? I know they're not. I bumped into Tina quite, um, I think it was last year at a festival. Um, and we were reminiscing. But no, the, the agency um, it shut shop a long time ago. Right. Okay, so back to you and your first deal with drum and bass. That's probably why I had no clue as to what you were doing, because I have no right. idea about drum and bass, to be fair. <laughs> right, right. So that, you know, we, we did an album. Um, I think it was released in Japan. We went, I went over to Japan and promoted the album there. And from there, what else did I do? I, I didn't even think about all of this. All right, from there, what did I do? I think I was doing lots of backup vocals. And I remember doing a tour with um, the Boyzone, Boyzone. So I did really? a few, uh, lots of big shows with Boyzone. Okay. Um, and that was really great. You know, just learning your chops, learning about what the job is, what you need to, you know, what what you have to do. I'm working with these great artists and, you know, exposed to lots and lots of different areas of the the industry as well. 
and making the big artists sound good because that's what the backing vocalists do. Wow, well, we 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 do. I mean, there are lots and lots of unsung, unsung, um, beautiful voices out there. Yeah, I mean, when you talk about people like Lisa Fisher, you know. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> you have to give those backing vocalists props because absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. So tell me the journey from the first record deal with the drum and bass band. Uh, from there, I mean, it, it was a minus. I mean, you could find it online. Um, it's uh, it's come and gone. I but don't want to find it online. I'm talking to you. I want it from the horse's mouth. I don't just. Well, it was. It was. It was an early. It was an early um, album. You know, I was yeah. still learning about my voice. Yeah. About the industry, and it was just something that I did once that was the promotion was over. You move on. You move on to the next thing. Yeah. Um. And from there, like I said, I did a lot of background background vocals with, you know, fantastic fantastic people. Yeah. Um, quite a few A-listers. Um, I've worked with Tom Jones. I've worked with Lionel Richie, Anita Baker, um, Simon Webb, Boyzone, Blue. Um, just. Can you hear this resume, guys? Can you hear this resume? <laughs> yes. And she's just sitting there nonchalantly well, reeling off these names. Well. As if it's nothing. Well, to me, you know, I'm I'm a, I'm a singer and I'm an artist. They're musicians. I'm a musician. I work. I'm a voice for hire. They hire me. I go and do the job. Yes, you can slightly get starstruck, but you know, you don't. I right. mean, the the most starstruck struck I have to say that I've been is working with Shalimar. I mean, okay. they were my heroes when I was growing up. So, working with those guys is. It's such a treat for me. And I, you know, I still work with them up to this day. Well, yeah, I mean, that's, I think that's one of the places I bumped into you again. And you were that's like, right. oh, this, do you want to come to Shalimar? And I was like, oh God, I'm already going. She, and what she did, she was, she was very naughty. I, have to say. <laughs> I said, yes, I'm already going because the manager, you know. Right. And then I get there and I'm going, hold on a minute. That looks like Vivian on the stage. <laughs> <laughs> And yeah. that's literally how it happened. And then she came up and went, yeah, I didn't want to spoil the surprise. I, that's right. I was a little you. naughty. Yes. Yeah, you were very naughty, I think. <laughs> very naughty. So it took you a while to find your voice, would you say? Um, no, I wouldn't say no. that. But I always wanted to do the lead vocal thing. And... There have been some disappointments and it just, you just think, oh my God, I can't be bothered to do this, but still love the music, still want yes. to do the thing. So I just slipped into a, you know, a, a, a good um, stretch of time where I was just singing backgrounds, but yeah. always, always, you know, beavering away at home, um, writing my own songs. I've been writing for a long time, a yeah. long time. Yeah. Well, I mean, the best of them started as backing vocalists, whether it be Cheryl Lynn, whether it be Denise Williams for Stevie Wonder, whether it be right. Luke Andras for right. Roberta <laughs> Flack, you know, <laughs> a lot of them. And you find the journey is very similar. It's either church, uh, an early boy or girl band, That's backing right. vocalists, and then, you know, you finally get to the final destination, wow. which is your solo career and and there's no time limit on how long that may take or you know and you just have to persevere because I'm sure a lot of people have fallen by the wayside that are hugely talented but didn't have the tenacity to persevere and well it, it, it's about perseverance and resilience because like I said this industry is it's not for the faint of heart. Yeah. It, it really isn't. It's not for the faint of heart. And you have to have that passion. And, and, and you know, certain experiences, certain events can, can come into your life and, and, and knock it out of you for, for a period of time. Yeah. But, you know, when you get into the small of yourself and, and get back to who you are, you think, well, you know, this is what I want to do and I'm going to carry on. Yeah. So the successes of your career, you would say, are what? Are those the things that carried you 
to continue persevering to your solo career goal? I had, you know, lots of little successes. I mean, like I said, I was signed, I was signed to a, um, a band called Entrance. Um, they're a big um, sort of techno um, Oh my goodness, my phone's going. Let me just. Uh... <laughs> sorry, sorry. Okay. So Can you imagine she's doing me on her phone. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've been oh, downgraded. <laughs> I've been downgraded to an iPhone. This is where, what my life has come to. I just want to say that. Okay. Oh my goodness, it's calling again. Oh my goodness. Um. So what was I saying? Let me, let me. Let you me were talking try. about the, the successes. And disappointments. When you said you've had disappointments, what were the disappointments? Well, you know, I've, like I said, I've been signed. I was signed after that uh, to a, a an Italian um, outfit, and um, that was hugely disappointing. Hugely disappointing. Um, but you know, like I said, you 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 know regroup and you you move on. I was signed to. Um, Entrance, that's what I was saying, Entrance. And they are a big, um, a hugely successful um, dance man. They were signed, I was signed to All Around the World and we made an album and there um, we had five top 10, UK top 10 hits and even reached the billboard. But they were sort of like a, a, a novelty um, dance band. Um, and I didn't stay with them for very long. Right. At all, but they were hugely successful. Right. Um, and from there, I dry. Uh, I joined a band called Dryzer, which was a a, a a new incarnation of Dryzer Bone. Okay. Um, yeah. So we made one album, um, and I was doing a lot of the writing on that. Um, but that was slightly disappointing. Um, Who was that signed to? That was signed to Sony. Okay, because the original Dries of Bone were EMI. Right. Okay. Yeah. But obviously, you know, there were politics with that whole uh, original Dries of Bone and the two guys went their way. And I joined the new incarnation. Um, right. Dries Up. So we did one album there. Um. From there, I did a lot more backing vocals, con continued on my way. But like I said, um, was, you know, getting my songwriting chops up to speed. Um, and I've written, you know, a lot of songs. I, I write a lot of my songs with them. Um, my mentor, his name is Alan, Alan Glass. He's an American um, a guitarist, but he's a songwriter um, and a producer. Uh, his brother is Pre Preston Glass, and he has gold discs for um, Aretha Franklin, um, right. Kenny G, George Benson, Lighthouse Family. Songs that he wrote for them. That's the right. Band. That's right. And I learned a lot from him. Um, and he he's, he's a brilliant guy, brilliant, brilliant person. And you're still working with him? Oh, absolutely. One of the songs on uh, the EP. Um, Which we'll get to in a minute. Right. He, we, we co-wrote that, yeah. Right, okay. So let's talk about the early Vivian, because we love to know a bit about the person behind the artist that we see. Okay. So growing up, I know you've got a sister that you speak very highly of, Dr. PhD. That's I, right. You Dr. speak very S. highly. Amare. Yes. Yes, so indeed. So Look, see the pride on her face when she speaks about her sister. Absolutely. I feel like it's my PhD. It, <laughs> I, I can I see. <laughs> <laughs> she put the work in, but you guys, your PhD too. <laughs> yes, yes. So was music always in you? Was that always what you wanted to do? Or did you do other little jobs? you know, longing to be in the music industry? What, what? Where did it start for you? It started at home with Mommy. Mommy right. was, she loved music. Um, music was always in the house. And her her little phrase was, I, I never forget it. She said, turn off the television and put on the music. That was my mother. So we grew up in a house full of music. My sister is a professional dancer. Um, right, okay. Yes, she is. Um, very proud of her. 
So there was music always um, around. I sort of, obviously, I could sing. I knew I could sing from a from a from a young age. Okay. But I I didn't take it seriously. I didn't join the choir or anything like that. But I think in my teenage years, I just said that's what I'm going to do. But I quietly decided that's what I was going to do. I didn't really tell anybody what okay. my plan was because I was, you know, crushingly shy. Um, and I grew up in a town in in the Midlands, and none of my friends knew that this this was you know this was my destiny then your passion yeah no no um and they were kind of really shocked when i uh, moved to london okay and how did your parents receive it well my mom she always encouraged us to do whatever moved us um which is a great start yeah That's and she always said whatever you want to do you can do so I just believed her. So this was in my heart. So well, I can do this then. And whatever you wanted to do, she encouraged you to do it. Absolutely. And supported you through it. Absolutely. Because as we know, and we can speak freely as people from the Caribbean of a certain generation, you know, necessarily back in those days, saying that you wanted a career in the arts, whether it be dance, fashion, music, wasn't really celebrated or encouraged. Right. A lot well, that, of the... that, that's true because they were frightened for us because, you know, it's only like the 2% will make it through. They want us to be steady. They want us to have an income and a steady life. And yeah. perhaps being in the arts is not so steady. But well, we know that it isn't really... steady. <laughs> it no, isn't that, that's steady. True. We know that once you're in it, you know that for well, fact, you know, well. and I always say, once you're in the arts, you have to be prepared to understand that money is like the tide. It comes in oh. and it goes out. And oh. that's it, that, you know? that is a word. And I always say it different, definitely separates the men from the boys. Yes. Seriously. <laughs> this industry is. Yeah, absolutely. You know. It, it's not for the faint of heart. But I think it does make a difference, a significant difference and a positive difference if you are supported and encouraged in that, even That's though it might not necessarily be their will or idea for you. They still say, well, this is what you want to do, you know? Well, as long as you do your studies, that's fine. Pursue what you want to do. Exactly, exactly. You know, it was balanced in our in our house. We had to, we had to come up with the, the you know, the, the, the scholarly work. We had to, you know, pass our exams and so on. Um, oh no, mommy didn't play. <laughs> absolutely absolutely so let's move forward to where you are now the Vivian we see now the mature grown wonderful right. Vivian Ray of 2024 thank you so much and getting ready to, to to release this this EP it's um it's just a taster of 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 what I can do um I've always loved um, dance music, electronic music. I've been involved right. in electronic music for a long time. With being a voice for hire, people would hire me to voice or write a little song on top of some of you know the the the, the drum beats or the, the the music. So I've been involved in it for for a long time. So um, this new EP, Four to the Floor, its name is um, it's just a taster an introduction, how do I get people's attention? I love to dance, let me make you dance. Well, um, yes, she definitely loves to dance because we were at a festival two weeks ago. <laughs> and I'm going, one minute Baveen's next to me talking and then the next minute Baveen's gone. I'm like, where is she? She's up on the stage <laughs> dancing her own dance. I was like, okay. Yeah, I, I love to dance. And like I said, my sister, she um, she's a professional dancer. Um, it's always in my blood. Um, so let's make it. Let's make it some music for to get people dancing. Well, I have listened to the EP, and it is dance music as such. It is really dance music, which is quite refreshing because it's not the regular sound in dance music. I must say, no. You know, um, it doesn't fit necessarily into that house category. No, no. Agree. That's a good. I would agree. It's it's just music the way. I see it the way I feel it. 
I like ele- there are elements of house and lots yes. of different. But there know, are elements of pop in it as well. That's right. Yes. That's right. And um, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that because some. I like pop music, but I like uh, yeah, absolutely. Pop. But you, you know, there is a kind of in certain circles, there's a kind of stigma that's about pop music, and I listened to it, and it was actually quite refreshing to hear a different sound. And yes, it's dance music and it's soulful and it's funky. It's a bit poppy, but that's what makes it catchy. And yeah, so let us hear the titles of the tracks on the EP. Right, well, the lead single is called Should Have Been You. Um, I wrote it a while ago. Uh, I, I The music was written by a, a, a fantastic musician I met on the Shalimar gig. He, absolutely fantastic pianist and he's great with the production his name is Rob Yo um I've got another song called um oh god I'm forgetting oh my goodness how could she forget her own I, song <laughs> listen I've got if you only knew I've got a million songs in this head hey I wouldn't I've be got, surprised I wouldn't I've be got surprised. a million songs uh and I've got another song called whose life is it anyway um, and it's it was written from the premise. Well, this is my life. I'm going to do what I want to do. Well, you you snap the words out of my mouth. There, it's like I'm doing the interviewing. Okay, so wait till I ask the question. So, right. <laughs> so, right. what was the premise of this is my life anyway? <laughs> Who, yeah, whose life is it anyway? That is the the title. And one day, I just thought. It's my life, and I'm going to do it my way, and that's how the song the song was born. I see um, such a Frank Sinatra in there. Okay, <laughs> and another song called uh, "Promise the Moon." Um, it's a lot more lyrical. It's 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 a love song, um, and another song called "Slip Away." Most of my songs are about love, unrequited love, you know that kind of thing. Okay. But you know, you add the dance element and. It, it, it morphs into something else. So this is just a taster, as you say, a sample. Yeah. So there's obviously a lot more to come. Absolutely. Praise God, please God. Yeah. A lot more to come that's already written and prepared because you Absolutely. see, she couldn't even remember the which song or which. So there's obviously a lot that she has right. in the vault ready right. and waiting. For right. Us. I literally have been writing for decades. I've yes. got so many great songs, but then... They're not they're not dance songs. I would I would you know this this EP is a light offering. Yeah. Um I'm a I like writing ballads, big ballads, lots of strings, um, lots of orchestral sort of uh, I think we um, come from that generation of yeah. the orchestration. Very white. Mm. The, yes, you yeah. know, the orchestration, the arrangement, the That's musicality. Right. We right. were spoiled. That's so, right. you know, and, and I shouldn't say it on here, but a lot of the new music, although there's great new music out there, a lot of the mu- new music to me sounds so empty because I'm used to a horn section, a string section, a percussion section. That's right. You know, we come from that era. Musicality, yes. That big sound, the yeah. big sound, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, yes, I've got a lot of songs that spam all sorts of genres. I love R and B, um, and I like, you know, ballads. I'm a, I, I, I think I, I can write a ballad, a big song. Right. Um, I record all my vocals. I arrange everything, um, and I enjoy all aspects of the the creation. I love writing songs. Right. So hopefully, you know. I'll get the opportunity to uh, to to release a lot more. To um, showcase that. Yeah, they're, they're, you know, they're ready to go. It's just, I've got to say hello. Um, and hopefully people will resonate with what I'm doing and like the sound of my so voice. So the, the EP came out when? On the 6th of um, September, which September. was a days ago. Yeah. And it's available on all music platforms. That's right. That's right. Um, I also have a website as well. I was going to just say, she's taking the words out of my mouth. (laughs) So 
Is there a website that you would like to direct us to? Oh, <laughs> uh, yes, there is. Yes, there is. I've got a, a nice, shiny new website. It, it, uh, you can find me at viveen.info, V-I-V-E-E-N dot info. Okay, that's pretty simple. Viveen at dot info. No, no, viveen dot info. Viveen dot info. That's, That's why I always get the artist to say the website because I always get it wrong. Right, right. Vivine.info. And uh, there, not only is all the information available about you, but about the EP. That's right. That's right. And it, it showcases my past, where I've been, what I've done, the present, and obviously, you know, will in time update with some, some new songs. So are you going to be performing these anywhere live for us? Well, yes, yes. I mean, things are coming in. Um, this is all brand new. I remember I'm stepping out from the background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, uh, it's brand new as in today is the 9th or 10th, and it's, you know, it only came out on the 6th. So that's right. This, I've that's snapped right. her up early before all the others <laughs> do. Yeah. Well, you know, I just, I just hope people can resonate with what I'm doing. There is more to come. Lots and lots of different styles. So please don't put me in a box. Don't put me in a box. No, but I mean, I think the the experience that you've gained from working with so many different people, doing BVs for so many different types of bands, because Boyzone is completely different from Shalimar, is That's completely right. different from, you know, whoever. So yeah. it gives you a much wider scope, more experience, more versatility with sure. your abilities. Sure, sure. So yeah. as you say, you can't, there's no box big enough to fit Vivian right <laughs> in, okay? I like that. <laughs> I say it about myself all the time, so that's why I've just transferred it to her. <laughs> sure. You know, um, well, we're excited to see this do well. And of course, you've got all of our support. Oh, thank you so much. Thank and you. Um, we will be sharing everything that we can, wherever we can. And, and letting people know that Vivian Ray is not only here, but she's here to stay. Well, I yeah. hope so. And I just, you know, hope you like the songs. Hope you like I the love songs. them. Actually, I did like them. I did like them. As oh. I said, I found it refreshing. Um, a slightly different sound. Yes, it's dance music, but, but a slightly refreshing sound, not the regular. So that definitely caught right. my ear. And I think that's the... the the appeal factor, or will be the appeal factor for many sure. people, you know. Sure. But yeah. we need to see you performing these lives, so you've got to get this together. Yes, we do. It's it's coming. It's coming. Definitely. So I will direct everyone to vivine.info, where you can be updated to where she's going to be doing any performances, I hope. Yes? Yes. Okay. All right, my love. It has been a pleasure to talk to you. It's been the pleasure has been mine actually, and it was so great to bump into you. Like like I've told you, you know. Um, yeah. So great to bump into. We you. had a long overdue catch up, which was which was very nice. It was very nice and enlightening. <laughs> Life, <laughs> it really was. Yes, yes, and congratulations on 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 your platform on your show as well. It's lovely to see you. Here. Yeah, you know, I just. As you say, it's the love of the music, it's the love of the artists and some of the people I speak to. I am a bit of a fan, I have to admit. Right. Um, so it's like the dream job for me. <laughs> I, you know, uh, right. The job I've been studying for since I was about five or seven years old. Perfect. Unknown to I, you. That's right. You know, first single I ever bought. So, you know, this is just the, a joy for me to um, speak right. to all of you guys that are making the music industry worth listening to. Thank you. So, Thank as I said, we look forward to seeing you performing four to the floor, showcasing it, because we need some live performances, not just clicking on a platform. <laughs> we need to see you doing your thing, shaking absolutely, the and, Absolutely, you know, absolutely. <laughs> and doing your thing on stage. So all the best with it. You take care. Thank you so much. We look forward to hearing from you in part two with the album that's coming. That's right. It's EP. definitely coming. It's definitely All right. The album that's coming. We have to put that out there into the universe. The Vivine Ray album that will be coming after the release of the EP. 
Amen. Amen to that. <laughs> you take care. Thank you. Wishing you all the best. All right. And you too. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.